Uh, and in addition, we always include a junction box with it that allows you to connect directly to the Solark, so nothing needs to be uh, exposed to the elements. It's very uh, functional, a great price point, and very easily scalable to pair up for whatever your home power needs might be. So you essentially have no limit on what your home backup uh, expectations can be. We have closed loop communication with 24 different inverters. The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordi here for Solar Surge. And today we're coming back to you from RE Plus, the International Solar Conference here in Las Vegas. This morning I'm joined by Russell Willems from Renan Power, and we're looking at the brand new Solark 18K as well as the Renan Power Excellent Plus. So Russell, it's good to see you again. Thanks for yeah. joining us this morning. Great to be here. Thanks for the opportunity to talk about our product here. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, lots of new stuff, you know, being being released here at RE Plus. Yeah. Of course, we've got the brand new Solark 18K hybrid inverter. Yeah. Uh, also, but also the, the Renan Power Excellent Plus lithium iron phosphate battery. So kind of walk us through this configuration, this solution, and then let us know what's, what's new. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we really support our partner in Solark. They've been a great support in helping us connect into the US market here. And as a result, we decided to do a paired product with them. Uh, so we do the Excellent Plus along with the Solark 15 or 18K. This is new to the market, so we're excited to see what it can do. Um, we even matched the gunmetal gray of the Solark to get the, a nice clean aesthetic of a combined system. So this is a 16 kilowatt hour battery, uh, and it works very well to set up in parallel if you need up to 15 of them. Uh, and in addition, we always include a junction box with it that allows you to connect directly to the Solark. So nothing needs to be uh, exposed to the elements. It's nice having this junction box, no additional gutters needed. And we have the connections that just flow straight up and these cutouts actually match the bottom of the Solark above it. Excellent, excellent. Uh, excellent plus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, a couple questions that come to mind. With, with the new Solark 18K, they're, they're now able to do 18K uh, AC output off of battery alone. However, I believe we need multiple batteries to get to that, that amount of current output, is that correct? Uh, I believe so, in order to get that much juice out of it, which uh, is another nice configuration about this battery, is that we actually have multiple uh, positive and negative ports so that there's internal busing and it makes it really easy to daisy chain these batteries together. Yeah, what if I wanted to do like two or three? Because I, I would say for yeah. most of my clients, I'm probably gonna recommend minimum two batteries for whole yeah. house backup, especially yeah. if you want to be running heavy loads like central AC absolutely. over overnight. Yeah, absolutely. So what, how, how would it work if I wanted to do like say two or three battery setup? Yeah, yeah. So uh, if you see the side of this, there's actually also uh, holes for gutters right on the side of this junction box because the intention is to have a, either two side by side or three lined up under one of the solar arcs. So you can pipe all of them directly together. You can flow the positive output of the external terminals directly onto the internal bus here. And then from here, we actually have two output terminals to the Solark so we can get full utilization of both of the ports for the uh, buses here to get the maximum amperage communication between the battery and the Solark for faster charging and discharging and to support that now higher 18K power output. Great. Now, is, is this indoor and outdoor rated or is this indoor only? No, indoor and outdoor rated. All of these come with the heat film by default. Um, they can start, the temperature control kicks on when it gets to about five degrees Celsius uh, and will run up until about 20. Um, so outdoor rated, IP55, so it can handle all of the elements, especially when you have the junction boxes all included. Um, we like to think about the installer, so we actually installed handles on the side, make it a little bit easier to carry around. Uh, it's definitely still heavy. It's a two-man job to say the least. It's about 350 pounds. Uh, so it's a lot of battery, but it's very uh, functional, a great price point, and very easily scalable to pair up for whatever your home power needs might be. So Russell, I know one of the nice things about this architecture with the, the hybrid inverter is that once you've made the initial investment of getting the inverter installed, yeah. your incremental cost to add on more storage capacities typically is a lot lower. So what, what can yeah. you share with us about your cost per kilowatt hour if we want to expand up and scale up with more storage? Yeah, absolutely. And that's one nice thing uh, when working with Solark is that we have a great combined pricing. So with inversion, the price per kilowatt hour is under $700 inverted. So that's AC power to your home. Once you have the Solark installed and you're looking to just expand, uh, it's less than $225 per kilowatt hour to just get the battery and expand and add some more storage to your power. That's great, yeah. that's great. And again, I know I know that's part of the value of having the, the, the larger individual batteries. Mm -hmm. However, you know, a lot of installers out there don't like the idea of having to, to handle a 300 or 400 pound yeah. piece of equipment. And so the, the modular stackable architecture is, is getting popular with many installers as well, yep. because basically two people can do it with no, no special lifts or anything like that. So can you tell us, you know, what do you have available in terms of a more of a modular stackable solution? Yeah, absolutely. 
Uh, we have the Extreme LV that is our stackable solution, and I think it's a great fit here, not only because of the ease of install, but talking about modularity and ease of expansion, it's a great product in that you can add additional modules even after the initial install is done. So let's take a look at it. Okay, Russell, now we're looking at the Extreme LV stackable solution. Can you kind of walk the audience through how does this one work and how, yeah. does, it, how does it differ from the Excellent Plus? Absolutely, so you'll see this is a pretty tall system here. Uh, it's a rare use case in a residential system to get 40 kilowatt hours out of a single unit. So each of these modules is 5.12 kilowatt hours and they stack for up to eight per module, all supported by a single BMS. And we have full UL9540 uh, certification for all a full 18 stack battery. Initially we did six uh, because there are some concerns with height and stability from some HJs, but uh, we were able to push it up to eight and got full approval. So now we can get a full eight stack of 40 kilowatt hours in your home. A nice thing about this, you can do 15 of these in parallel. So you essentially have no limit on what your home backup uh, expectations can be. So each, each one of these is five kilowatt hour storage. Correct, yeah, 5.12 per module. Each module's okay. right around 95, 100 pounds. Okay. Um, and again, we have handles on the side. So we try and think about the installer every step of the way here. Um, and for aesthetic purposes, we have a nice side paneling that you can just screw on that make it a little bit easier. Uh, and for a limited time, actually until the end of October, we're running a uh, promotion for first time installs. Anybody that purchases and is doing a first install with the Extreme LV uh, and can provide evidence of purchase from their distributor, we're giving $100 off per module. So uh, on a full stack like this, you get $800 back and that's a mail-in rebate that we'll send directly to you. That's great, that's great. And all this stack controlled by a single BMS. And this is the, the low voltage, right? So this would work with the Solark, the Solark hybrid inverter. Absolutely just, right. Just like the Excellent Plus that yeah, we just saw. Absolutely right. So this, uh, the BMS is the brains of the operation here. Um, and it actually, we have closed loop communication with 24 different inverters. So uh, our UL9540 certifications are with Solark. They're our primary partner. We really appreciate how quality their equipment works. Um, but you have a lot of flexibility to work with different inverters, SMA, uh, Crowatt, Lux Power, um, Mega Revo, anything you can think of, we have closed loop. Uh, so very flexible system. And as I mentioned before, in terms of expandability, which is very nice, say you only want to make the investment and get 20 kilowatt hours, you get the BMS with it. Up to two years down the road, you can continue to just pull off, drop a new module on, and put the uh, BMS back on, and it will self-monitor, add that cell to the system, and continue to do load balancing to make sure they have optimal cell health for all the entirety of your stack. Great, great. Now, what about on the high voltage side? I know a number of vendors, uh, even this week at, at RE Plus, have been introducing a high voltage solution. Do you have anything in that category? Absolutely, we're just coming to market with it. So very similar to the Extreme LV, we have the Extreme HV. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. All right, Russell, look, looks very similar here with the Extreme series, but this is, you're saying this is the high voltage version as compared to the, the 48 volt nominal. Exactly right. So this BMS is optimized to put out high voltage. So it's very similar module settings, uh, just a slightly different connection and communication between them. And then the BMS is rated for high voltage output. So we can work with Fronius or any other high voltage inverters. So you can get three phase, even with lower storage requirements. Because a lot of the time in those CNI circumstances where we have a 60 kilowatt hour battery as kind of our entry level CNI, that's still a lot of storage more than is needed for some three-phase applications, which is where this HV comes in as a really nice fit. Yeah. Well, you know, back in the day, you know, when I was doing off-grid systems, a lot of times you're, you're doing modular systems. So you're pulling yeah. a battery, an inverter, all from different companies. That 48-volt that low voltage kind of became the standard, you yeah. know. But what we're seeing now, especially with higher capacity batteries, higher power output inverters, uh, is that you actually get better performance out of a high-voltage battery because you can, you know, especially if you're coupling it with solar, you can couple your high voltage solar, which is typically three to 500 volts, yep. with a high voltage battery, which lands somewhere in that three to 500 volt range as well. So you get that most efficient DC to DC solar to battery charging. Yeah, that's exactly right. And part of why we've continued to drive this solution and bring it to the market here. Uh, when we have such a good suite of CNI solutions, it was kind of hard to justify continuing to explore additional high voltage solutions for smaller storage. but. It, just as you said, the modularity and flexibility to get more efficient PV storage to, to battery connection in your homes is what has driven us to bring it to market. So the voltage is gonna increase as you add modules and it normalizes right around that 300 to 400 uh, voltage range, depending on how many modules. Once you hit three voltage, uh, three of uh, the modules, you start to hit that sweet spot where you get the full power out of the, out of the BMS and it can support up to five. It can't quite go as big as the Extreme LV, um, but it still has a lot of power capacity uh, and you can get up to 25 kilowatt hours per BMS. Per BMS, okay. Yep. In, in terms of cost per kilowatt hour storage, how, how does the LV compare to the HV? The, uh, the HV is gonna be a little bit more expensive per kilowatt hour. Um, the HV is, so the Excellent Plus is gonna be our best because of the geometry of the cell packing within it. Um, these are gonna be a little bit more, maybe 10% um, 
per kilowatt hour. Um, so not a huge price change, probably less than that. Uh, but the HV is going to be a little bit more expensive. Um, I think up to like closer to 300 per kilowatt hour just for the battery side. Um, a little bit less than that, um, of course, is once we actually get to market and grow it up a little bit more. So you can expect this for purchase available by November this year. Sounds good. Yeah, of course, you are going to have some savings for you installers out there. You are going to have some savings on the material side, being able to use a smaller gauge wire size to connect your inverter and your battery system because it is, it's going to be a higher voltage circuit. Exactly right. So, Russell, anything else that the audience should know about Renan Power and your residential battery storage solutions? Yep. Yeah, I want, I'm very excited to talk about the factory that we're launching out of McKinney, Texas. Uh, we're going to be doing a residential assembly line. So we have all the automation equipment purchased and ready to go. Uh, and we're actually kicking off construction on, uh, I guess that would be September 19th next week. So we have a groundbreaking ceremony. Very excited to get in there and build our factory and have uh, official U.S. manufacturing of our equipment. Um, so that's going to be both residential and we're looking at some contract manufacturing for some of the larger CNI equipment. Um, but Looking forward to as quickly as possible being able to say proudly made in America batteries. That's great. Uh, and folks, we are going to be down there for the groundbreaking ceremony when they uh, break uh, start on the construction for the U.S. manufacturing. So we'll be sure to, to see you then. Uh, but this has been a, a look at the Renan Power residential storage solutions. Uh, they've got solutions to pair with the Solark and, and low voltage inverters, uh, high voltage inverters like the Fronius that we see here. Uh, folks, by the way, the reason that we come to these conferences is to make sure that all of you that can't be out here physically, you can still stay up to date with all the latest solar technology and product information. So if you want to see more videos like this, hit the thumbs up button. That'll tell YouTube to show you more content like this. And that way, as we have new announcements and new updates, you can stay up to date with everything. But that pretty much does it for today. Russell, thanks for Joe, spending some more time you. with us. It's been great. And thank you for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. But that does it for today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.